significant breaking developments. I can tell you the protesters here have been hugging, high-fiving. They are hearing some of the same things we're hearing from our sources that the ex-Marine in this case, in this chokehold case, a man by the name of Daniel Penny is expected to turn himself in to the prosecutor's office, possibly tomorrow, possibly as early as tonight. That having been said, though, that is not officially confirmed by the district attorney's office. So these protesters and others say they're not taking any chances. They are prepared to wait it out if necessary. They hung banners, laid flowers, and placed candles in the name of Jordan Neely, the Michael Jackson impersonator and homeless man who died after being in a chokehold by former Marine Daniel Penny early last week in a subway car. But this demonstration has one more unique aspect to it. Occupying this park across the street from Alvin Bragg's office, and we will hold rallies three times a day to demand that he prosecute. Led by the group Black Lives Matter Greater New York, protesters have moved in to Collect Pond Park. It's across Center Street from this building, which houses the office of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. He's overseeing a process that helps to determine if a grand jury may charge Penny in the case. I was a prosecutor for over 25 years. Diane Paris knows the process for potential criminal charge very well. The John Jay College law professor points out that protesters could be here a while. It could take over a week. It could take more than one week. Also, a person who is possibly going to be charged with a crime may say, you may want to hear, I, here's a list of witnesses. I'd, I, I'd like the grand jury to hear from them. You may recall Occupy Wall Street, where protesters lived in Zuccotti Park for two months, and Occupy City Hall, a one-month-long encampment before police cleared it out. Right now, only a handful of protesters are at the park, but they say their numbers will grow and they intend to live here until Daniel Penny is charged. People are going to say those crazy BLM people are outside, but that guy deserves justice. So it's going to spread to his office, it's going to spread to the mayor's office, and it's going to spread to the city. And that's her right now, uh, along with a few other people who are rejoicing right now, again, because of this breaking news that a wide variety of sources close to this case saying that Daniel Penny is expected to turn himself in at the district attorney's office, possibly tomorrow, maybe even tonight. What this means, of course, is we will stay on this story right up to the minute and keep you updated as we learn more about it. Also this evening, there are some other protests related to this. Those folks are expected to come over here tonight, and it's going to be a very different kind of protest as far as we can tell from what had been planned earlier.